Hey, it's Doug Lewis. I thought I'd uh, give you a little bit of a how-to thing today since it's uh, cold and pouring down raining. I've been out here working in the boat. Um, if anybody knows me, uh, they know that uh, my go-to bait is a soft plastic jerk bait. Uh, today, what I'm going to be using is a uh, Bass Reaper uh, Morbid Minnow. And a lot of people have asked me how to do the tandem soft jerk bait rig. So I'm going to show you here right quick um, how to tie it. It's been very, very effective for me in the past. Um, I tied, I pre-tied some of this stuff uh, just for uh, time's sake so you didn't have to watch me tie a bunch of knots. Um, but what you're going to need is you'll need... Uh, Actually, uh, two hooks. Uh, I normally use a uh, four out wide gap hook. These happen to be uh, vector hooks. Um, you'll need uh, two barrel swivels, and that'll do it. Uh, and your and obviously your soft jerk baits. Uh, so what I've done here is this is your main line. I've already tied a, uh, a uh, actually two leaders here. Um, and I've tied one a little bit longer than the other. This will be your top um, leader. And all you're going to do, I've tied that to, the, to a barrel swivel, tied my hook on. All you're going to do is you're going to feed your main line, if I can see, uh, through the top of uh, that uh, barrel swivel. And you're just going to let it hang free. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to tie another leader that'll have your bait and another barrel swivel on and you're just going to tie it onto your main line if you can get your hands to work just like so, so basically what you've got if you can see this, is you've got uh, you've got a free leader up here on top. If it hadn't twisted, well, get that dude untwisted. You've got a free leader up here on top that's going to slide up and down your main line, and it's going to stop at the top of that barrel swivel that you tied to the end of your main line. Now here's the key. This top bait has got to be shorter than your bottom bait. Otherwise it's gonna hang up. Then all you do is simply rig another uh, soft plastic jerk bait. Like I said, in this case, it's uh, gonna be the Morbid Minnow. Get that rigged up. And basically what I do always is always skin hook the bait on the top. That's a pretty rough rigging, but, uh, but there it is. There's the tandem uh, soft plastic jerk bait rig that I use a lot. Uh, I typically throw this, uh, my daughter throws it. Uh, in fact, this is her rod. This is an Enigma HPT. Uh, it is a uh, seven foot three, medium fast action. And I always spool without hesitation, no matter what the water clarity is. Um, I always uh, spool with uh, the uh, Vicious Pro Elite uh, fluorocarbon uh, in 12 pound. I throw that everywhere from ultra clear to dirty. And you always want the fluorocarbon in, in my opinion, uh, because uh, the fluorocarbon will, will sink. Uh, if you throw it on mono, you're gonna get more stretch and the mono is gonna tend to wanna float and the, and the, the soft plastic jerk baits are gonna wanna rise up to the top of the water. 
Um, about the only time I'll ever throw them on uh, mono is in a schooling fish situation like in the summertime where they're wanting it on top. But uh, that's it. That's as simple as it is. It will not tangle up. You can pull that through grass. Uh, do just about anything you want to do. It's very, very effective. The baits are basically, when you work it, they're going to go this way. They're going to go opposite. So, anyway, that, that's my how-to for the day. Uh, I'm going to continue working the boat and get ready for the 2021 season. Thanks.